Today, we're going to talk about four things. What are brass knuckle best four exercises you can do for your balance? What are they? Everyone has an opinion, right? And I thought that you would like to hear my unsolicited advice, so I'm going to provide it, all right? Now, research tells us that despite considerable research and clinical effort, falls among people 65 and older are on the rise. An older adult is treated in the emergency room for a fall every 11 seconds with injuries ranging from simple cuts and bruises to broken bones. Hip fractures are the most serious injury from falls and more than half of older adults are hospitalized for hip fractures after a fall to never again regain their previous levels of mobility or quality of life. That is a fact. And you're twice as likely to fall inside a hospital or a nursing home than you are at home, all right? Guys, all my sources are on the website, references and sources at mybalanceuniversity.com. You can pull the same research I have right here. The source is at the bottom of the page. Download it, click it, cheers to, be, to use as you wish. Uh, further, Falls are a leading cause of death among older adults, according to the CDC. Uh, an older adult, an, an older adult dies from a fall every 19 minutes. That's actually 18 minutes. This was published in 2019. They changed that 19 to 18 uh, in 2021. Despite sobering statistics, falls are not an inescapable part of aging. On the contrary, most falls are largely preventable. It's quite clear that fall prevention strategies that target just one factor with a well-known link to, link to fall risks, such as muscle weakness, do not effectively reduce falls in over adult, older adults. Did you catch that? Let me read that again. It is now quite clear that fall prevention strategies that target just one factor with a well-known link to fall risk, such as muscle weakness, like our legs, weak legs, do not effectively reduce falls in older adults. This is why Balance University is comprised of four pillars. You can't do one, you have to do multiple. So, what are the four best exercises you can do? Let's break it down, right? And this is for you guys for homework. How many of you watch TV? All right, when you're watching TV, you can do this and you need to understand improving your balance is like learning a new language. You have to treat it as such. If you want to live your life out at home, stay mobile, stay independent. This is the investment you need to make right now, starting right now, okay? Number one, very easy. Men, when you're cooking for your wives and you're watching the microwave countdown, you can stand at the counter and bring your leg out and in. This is a single leg lateral. I've got my knee slightly bent, my chest up, my core tight, right? I can use the counter to help me balance, all right? That's number one. Number two, the eccentric quad activity. This is sitting slowly, right? Your feet are going to be chair leg width apart and you're going to sit down really slow. My nose is over my toes. I'm going to take four, three, two, don't plop. I don't want to plop, right? I want to touch my bottom lightly. You're going to pop right back up. Four, three, two, and one. Good. You can do five of those at a time. You can do them every time you sit down, okay? Number three, split stance, reverse shoulder swing, right? Long name, easy movement. We're going to put one foot in front of the other, all right? Ideally, we would do eight repetitions with our left foot forward, then rotate and do eight repetitions with your right foot. But what we're doing here, our palms are to the sky, pinkies are touching. We're going to open and push back, stretching that chest out strengthening the muscles in our upper back and our shoulders, 
Try not to allow your head to jut forward, and you're going to come right back and touch those pinkies together, okay? Just like the leg laterals, you want to do anywhere between 8 to 12 on each side. Same thing with the shoulder swings, right? You want to do 8 to 12, rotate, and do another 8 to 12 repetition. Lastly, lastly, balancing on one foot. Set a time for yourself. Ideally, 15, 20 seconds. In class, we do the last thing we do is stand on one foot for 60 seconds. Reason being, Brit the British Journal of Sports Medicine recently published a study, one of a kind, huge study, involved 30-year-olds all the way up to 90-year-olds. What they found is that if you cannot balance on one foot for 10 seconds or longer, your life longevity, quality of life will not last more than 10 years. In other words, you're gone in 10 years is what they found. Good news, we can change that, okay? And that doesn't mean it's absolute, right? We're not working in absolutes here. Of course, there's outliers, absolutely. But we're gonna take that research and we're gonna apply it, take it seriously, and we're gonna work on four pillars, not just one specific uh, ingredient here. We're gonna work on four and we're gonna do balance-specific movements, which research also shows improves our balance more so than Tai Chi or yoga. I love Tai Chi and yoga. I want you to do them. Tai Chi and yoga are fantastic. Most people who do Tai Chi and yoga, they have great balance. All right. With that, you guys, let's get rocking.